The hybridoma technology is a common method to produce monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies, in contrast to polyclonal antibodies, originate from a single B cell and are identical, which means they bind to a single specific epitope on the antigen. In contrast, polyclonal antibodies have been produced by multiple B cells of different origin and those polyclonal antibodies bind to different epitopes on an antigen. Monoclonal antibodies are often used as therapeutics, for instance against certain cancer types. How those monoclonal antibodies are generated with the hybridoma technology will be explained in this video. Before that, around 98% of all viewers have not subscribed to the channel, so please do so to support the channel. I greatly appreciate your support. In the first step, the antigen of interest is injected into a mouse, provoking an immune response against it. B cells recognize the foreign protein and start to produce antibodies against the antigen. Plasma cells inside the spleen of the mouse, so-called splenocytes, can be isolated and cultivated in cell culture. Those splenocytes have the ability to produce antibodies but the problem is that they are not immortal and therefore cannot be cultivated for long. To solve that issue, the plasma cells have to be immortalized. To this end, so-called myeloma cells come in handy. Those cells are immortal cancer cells that can grow indefinitely. Plasma cells and myeloma cells can be fused to generate a hybrid cell type of both, referred to as hybridoma cells, which have both characteristics of interest. Hybridomas produce a specific antibody and are also immortal. Hybridoma cells are cultured using a selective medium that only supports growth of those cells with both characteristics. In the following steps, single cells from the culture are isolated and grown alone to generate clones. Since each well contains antibodies derived from a single hybridoma cell, the antibodies produced are considered monoclonal. The specificity of those antibodies can further be evaluated with an ELISA, or it can be analyzed using Western blot. Here are two videos that briefly describe both of those techniques. Feel free to check them out. Also, don't forget to like this video if it helped you out. Thanks for watching.